Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Uh, we're going to uh, close out the, this first uh, series of uh, comparisons between Manifold System Release 9 and uh, ArcMap uh, with Spatial Analyst uh, by looking at uh, just Manifold running on a, a smaller computer than uh, the one that was used for the prior demos. Uh, some people criticize those uh, prior uh, uh, performance uh, comparisons by saying, well, you ran those on a 24-core threader threadripper machine which has 48 threads. So, of course, Manifold is going to run way faster than uh, Arc because uh, Manifold's parallel and Manifold can use all 48 threads. Uh, that's kind of ignoring the fact that uh, Arc, Arc, Arc Map with uh, Spatial Analyst uh, also has a uh, parallel processing. When you set parallel processing uh, environment to 100%, it's going to use as many threads as it thinks is reasonable. And if Arc only is able to use four to uh, uh, eight threads, uh, four to nine threads out of the uh, 48 threads, well, uh, that's one reason Manifold does everything in two seconds instead of uh, the two minutes or three minutes that it takes Arc. Uh, setting aside the fact that uh, Manifold is under $500 and uh, uh, ArcMap is what a standard edition 2,750 plus uh, 2,500 for the uh, uh, a spatial analyst edition, so over $5,000 worth of software. You'd think it would be able to run all 48 threads, but it doesn't. So anyway, to uh, take a look at the comparison, we're going to use a smaller system here, a more uh, affordable system. And uh, if we take a look at the uh, help about, we can see what we're running on here is a. Uh, uh, Ryzen 9 3900X 12 core processor. This isn't even the top end Ryzen 9. It's a, it's a measly $450 processor machine. So this is a very affordable, very consumer machine. And uh, let's see how fast Manifold can uh, can run on here. And it will just it only takes a second or two to to do what we were doing before. So we can uh, actually go through these very quickly. Going to go into here into the transform uh, as we, as we would call it geoprocessing toolbox. And I'll put W into the filter to just reduce the things we want to see. Let's start with watershed lines and uh, click Add Component. And it's going to do in about uh, five seconds what uh, took uh, 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 ArcMap with Spatial Analyst about two and a half minutes. And what did it do? It created these, uh, it did the uh, flow direction, flow accumulation, uh, did the raster to vector conversion, and created this uh, line right here. So this is all the lines that you see here, just the way ArcMap created them, only uh, Manifold does it about uh, 50 times faster. So let's turn those off. And uh, let's now go to the next thing that we're going to do. We're going to do uh, watershed areas uh, upstream, which uh, uh, are upstream from the points that the, the purple points that are in this drawing here. And that's going to be computed on the Florida drawing. And uh, you can see Manifold is so fast that it actually uh, previews what it's what it's going what it's going to do, what the computation is going to do. So if you want to zoom in and take a look. Uh, Let's uh, zoom that out a bit. I'm, I'm moving the mouse around a lot. I apologize for that. But you can see Manifold's previewing. If you actually wanted to do it, click Add Component, and it's done. It's, it's actually did that in less than a second. It computed those uh, upstream watershed air, uh, lines. And uh, ArcMap, again, does that considerably uh, slower. If you want to uh, see how long it takes watersheds, it takes it a minute, 23 seconds to compute flow direction. And then it comp computes uh, watersheds in about another 11 seconds. And then it has to do a raster to polygon, which also is very quick. Last but not least, let's do... Uh, and uh, here's the uh, drawing I created. Drag and drop into there. Let's turn that off. Last but not least, let's uh, uh, do what uh, what are called uh, sinks. Manifold calls them sinks. Uh, Arc calls them basins. And I uh, click Add Component. And that too is going to happen virtually instantaneously. It's only going to take it about uh, five seconds, maybe six seconds to do that. There it's done. And uh, here are the uh, sinks that it, that it created. Just like uh, ArcMap uh, creates uh, what, are, what are, as we call it, basins. Uh, basins are, are also called sinks. Some uh, software packages call them pits. It's where regions where uh, water flows in and doesn't flow out. And you have a lot of those in Central Florida because the terrain is uh, so uh, flat. So let's see how long it took uh, Manifold to do uh, all these uh, th all these things all put together. We're going to go here to the uh, panes project project pane. Take a look at the log window. And we can see that it took uh, Florida gr took uh, the sinks about 5.4 seconds. That takes uh, that's what takes uh, over four minutes in arc. Uh, it did watershed areas in uh, less than a second, and that takes uh, over a minute and a half in uh, arc uh, with spatial analyst. It did the watershed lines in three seconds, and that takes about two and a half minutes in uh, spatial analyst. And uh, these all these things are so fast that it's uh, it's almost kind of hard to catch them to snap them. Uh, to see what they're doing in terms of performance. Uh, let's do the lines again. I'm going to delete that from the map, and I'm going to delete the lines drawing that we created here. And uh, now let's go back in here into the uh, 
into the uh, toolbox, and we're going to run watershed lines again. But this time, while it's running, I'm going to uh, click on the uh, uh, performance manager, tax manager. Ready, set, go. And you can see it launched and fired up uh, all 24 threads in the 12-core processor. So here it's using all those as well. Uh, why is this stuff running faster on the uh, Ryzen 9 than it did on the uh, Threadripper 24? If, you, if, you've, if you've kept a close eye on the other videos, I know it's, it's hard sometimes to uh, tell the difference between you know, a mere three seconds or five seconds or uh, less than a second. Uh, that uh, largely affects having to do with the uh, storage technology. The uh, Threadripper has an SSD, uh, Samsung Evo SSD. Uh, but it's a second generation thread rip ripper with an older motherboard so it, it doesn't have any M2 uh, SSD storage on the motherboard it's actually using an SSD that's running through an SATA interface uh, this particular motherboard has a uh, uh, the Ryzen 9 and it has an M2 uh, SSD that's a fourth generation PCIe device so it's uh, reading and writing at 5000 mega, mega, megabits per second megabytes per second uh, which uh, helps that uh, the Ryzen 9 uh, current generation technology, it's uh, what, 7 nanometer. It's a significantly faster processor, much faster cores per core than the uh, second gen Threadripper. The second gen Threadripper is cheap. If you want to throw a lot of uh, threads at, uh, at processes, they're, they're a great buy. Uh, but the uh, newer generation Ryzen's and the third generation Threadrippers are, are much faster. Um, they, can, they can run significantly faster. So the combination of those two effects results in uh, this being able to do in uh, five seconds, what took uh, nearly seven seconds on the thread ripper, even though we're only running 24 threads instead of 48 threads. Uh, be that as it may, it's nice to see that Manifold's taking full advantage of this stuff. So anybody that tells you, oh, yeah, all those videos where Manifold was uh, running, uh, doing in two or three seconds, what took uh, two or three minutes or longer with uh, ArcMap, that's, uh, that's because they use a thread ripper. Well, you know, if you can afford... $5,250 for ArcMap plus Spatial Analyst, you can certainly afford a $400 processor like we're using right here and uh, a very inexpensive machine, but be able to use all that to run significantly faster. For that matter, you can also afford uh, spending an extra uh, you know, $495 or whatever it is to buy Manifold so that in addition to what you're doing with Arc, you can continue using Arc, keep, keep on using ArcMap, but it's faster to uh, do your larger geoprocessing, those sorts of things which tend to crash ArcMap, which, which, which tend to take many minutes or hours in ArcMap. It's quicker to send them out on a round trip, do it in a couple seconds of manifold, send it back, the results back to ArcMap, and then keep on working with Arc. So everybody's happy, and that's a win-win for all. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and uh, goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.